joining us now, Mr. Veeramani, the president of the Dravidar Kalagam, just before he launches his anti-Hindi agitation. Thank you very much for your time. And why do you think Hindi cannot be a link language between states and the centre, as suggested by the Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah? It is his wishful thinking. But for all practical purposes, English could not be replaced as a link language. If English is used, it is not only a link language for the India, but also for the whole world. And especially, even those who come from Bihar and uh, Uttar Pradesh, when they want to seek jobs here in Tamil Nadu, they always speak only in English, right. in few words. And Tamils never uh, learn Hindi and speak through his servants. It is on the vice versa. In one of the leading Tamil English dailies, they have quoted this one. So, for all practical purpose, Hindi is very different. And it is more than a cultural imposition than a language imposition. If it is a language, let them study. We will study any language as per our option. But if it is compulsorily imposed on anybody, it is with the deliberate international idea of the RSS to make Sanskrit culture as the only culture. And to that, this is only a pre-arrangement. This is only a preliminary step. What is your worry if Hindi is made a link language? What is your worry? Well, actually, it cannot do the purpose at all. Then, Tamil is more spoken in various countries. If you are really interested, why not you do that? And this is technically, the constitution has recognized in the 8th schedule, right. 22 languages, except Sanskrit and few others. Particularly, even though Sanskrit is called as a classical language, it is a dead language for all practical purpose. But whereas, it may have contained literature, this and that, but it is not spoken by the people. But whereas, Tamil and other languages are spoken, so a very uh, purpose that it is spoken very large and all these things, it is only in Hindi belong state. Even among the Hindi states, Bihar Hindi is very different from UP Hindi, Kamboli and all these things. That is why practically it is not feasible. It is only to impose that to Sanskrit and RSS agenda. It is an agenda RSS. Even when Hindi was uh, introduced as an official language, we must distinguish between the national language and the official language. Right. And in the eighth schedule, if you speak and uh, go through the constitution, the caption is only languages. It is not national languages. Right. So Hindi cannot be called as national language at all according to the constitution of India. The founding fathers of the constitution, very clearly, when they want to introduce even as an official uh, Hindi, there was a conflict between Hindustani and Hindi. Because Hindustani is somewhat uh, with the Urdu. Say these people don't want to uh, have the support of the... So that is why they are very particularly Dev Nagari. Right. Dev Nagari means God's language. That, that itself is a slur on the other languages. If it is God's language, other is Nisha languages. Right. They used to all these things. So this is a cultural imposition rather than a language uh, imposition. That's a perception that Hindi is largely spoken across the country and that's why it's fine to have it as a link language. How do you see that argument? People are uh, large, largely illiterate people. Do you mean to say that you have to speak against literacy? That is not at all. Even our late lamented Anna quote a beautiful analogy. You have chosen peacock as your national word. But crows are more. Right. If you point a few to the majority, then you will have to choose only crows, not peacock. This is a valid answer. And uh, the majority concept is very wrong. Let me tell one example. Lee Kuan Yew is the best administrator he is considered to be the father of modern Singapore. He has written a wonderful experience, a book called Bilingual Experience. In his country, even though it is a small island country, island nation, he has told, 
He used to explain, Chinese people are 72 percent. Most of the advisors to me advised me to adopt only as Chinese as a national language because majority people, 72 percent are uh, Chinese people. But he has very clearly, I didn't commit that mistake. Right. Later on, I was thinking, there are Tamil people, they are only 15 percent. Malay is there, Malay language, and they are only somewhat uh, 20 or some more than that. Why we have chosen English as an administrative language, he has explained. When they want to compete, so many races, there is Tamils, Malays, Chinese, and the Eurasians. There are four kinds of people who are there. When they want to compete for the social administration, the disadvantage is equally distributed among other things. So everybody learns that one. That means if I make, if I declare and proclaim that Chinese is the official language of the Singapore state, then only Chinese people will be overriding on other races. This language question is a very sensitive question because it involves the cultural aspects. He has very clearly. So we must learn that lesson from that near Singapore island. By denying Hindi, are you also denying opportunity for youngsters in terms of jobs, in terms of higher <laughs> studies? I am simply laughing it out because this was an earlier outdated argument. But you know, who are the people who are uh, making an exodus to Tamil Nadu? The Bihari people, from Bengal people, from Rajasthan. So it is on the other way around. The Hindi people seeking their jobs in Tamil Nadu, in South India. So it is not the South Indians going and working as a worker, labor. So that argument cuts the very root of the truth. But you're not opposing people in Tamil Nadu learning Hindi out of their own choice? No, not at all. Let them learn thousand languages. Already we are not opposing the Hindi Prachar Sabha. We are not against it. But why should we impose? That is because with an ulterior motive. Your motive is you want to bring one nation, one country, because this is diversity, unity in diversity. It is quite against that principle. Last and question, he wants sir. to deny the diversity. Right. Ah. Last question. Tamil Nadu has always been known as the land of uh, Hindi, anti-Hindi agitation. Now slowly other states like Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala are also joining this this, this uh, opposition. How do you see this? So, that clearly shows the one, uh, there is an answer for your earlier question. Hindi could not be a link language. Not only the Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu was the pioneer in various aspects. And anti-Hindi, we are the pioneers. And one, one thing I would like to remind you, Mr. C. Rajagopal Achari, Rajaji, former Governor General of uh, India, was the person, when he was the Chief Minister at Chennai in 1938 for the first time, second also, he came. And uh, 1938, it was he who imposed Hindi, compulsory Hindi in classes. And Periyar and uh, his movement, Revidian movement, stoutly opposed it. Right. And thousands of people, including women and children, they got uh, arrested and they got imprisonment. And we have uh, to, uh, told, uh, <coughs> we have uh, given Talamutu and Nadarajan, you see that building. They have sacrificed and they were the Tyagis. Why? Because that the same Rajagopalacharya joined the Anna after the imposition of all these things, after a very long time. When he was questioned, no, I am the ruler. I can simply dictate terms. You cannot uh, uh, answer my question. You cannot uh, threaten me. This was the answer as an autocratic chief minister. The Compared same to the Acharya came and sat with our late lamented Anna on the same dais and shared and said, Hindi never and English ever. Compared to the late 60s when the entire Tamil Nadu spoke in one voice against Hindi, do you think people now share a similar sentiment or is it only political? No, it is not political at all. Cultural aspect, culturally, even Punjabis, they don't accept it. Bengalis, they are not accepted. Even this was earlier communicated to 
Mahatma Gandhi by Rabindranath Tagore. In Tamil Nadu? Uh, Tamil Nadu, always Tamil Nadu is a pioneer. Uh, even now, do you think people share a similar sentiment against Hindi? Certainly, certainly. Tamil Nadu, all youngsters cutting across the party lines and even cutting across caste, religion and all these things. Tamil Nadu, with one voice, they are opposing Hindi. They will oppose it to the nail. That's Thank all. you so much for your time. That was Mr. Veeramani, the president of Dravidra Kalagam, talking to us as he prepares for his anti-Hindi agitation. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.